To answer your question right away, I definitely don't regret buying these, but this is not gonna be the sneaker of this year. And the reason for that is painfully obvious. By the way, something just weird happened a few hours ago. Nike decided to do a restock of the breads while I was recording a video about Jordan 4 breads reimagined. And I won. I managed to double up. And I actually plan on doing a special giveaway later on with this pair, so stay tuned for that. Which brings me perfectly into the next segment, and that is I really wanted to do this for a while and I plan to give away these Yeezy Foam Runners EU 44 and a half to a lucky viewer. And of course, they're dead stock with original packaging. To have a chance of winning, all you have to do is comment on this video plus one. And by the end of next month, I'll just pick a random winner and I'll send you the Foam Runners. And since there are less people who comment on this channel than there's Jew Kanye West fans, your chances are pretty big. Okay, so the important stuff, probably why you clicked on this thumbnail these are more comfortable than regular Jordan 4s not quite as comfortable as pine greens and they fit through the size thank you for watching no I'm just waiting stay please don't go please don't leave me so pine greens are more roomy and these are more snug simple as that before the initial release a lot of people thought that this was gonna be the sneaker of this year but Nike took the part reimagined to the extreme it's the letter and sneakerheads are way too sensitive and they probably gonna unsubscribe when I say the following but I actually prefer the letter more than the 2019 version <laughs> you serious it just looks way better on black and red and since the entire sneaker is reconstructed to mimic the Jordan 4 SBs, they're actually a lot more comfortable than the Motorsports Alternate 4s which are actually also leather instead of new buck like the OG version of Bretts. So I don't care about the big changes as long as they feel comfortable, I'm all for it. But to keep the sneakerhead somewhat happy, they actually kept the air unit in the forefoot that's supposed to add to the comfort but unfortunately it's as outdated as Joe Biden's statement when he said that Sweden knows how to fight. Sweden officially joined and their minister is here tonight and they know how to fight. I'm from Sweden so I can joke about that. Our military force has 96 fighter jets to protect us from the Russians. Yeah. So anyway, Nike SB desecrated the Jordan 4s by removing the encapsulated air unit for board feel and by doing that, they finally made the Jordan 4s comfortable by accident. Jordan brand probably felt like that risk was not worth taking so they decided to make the shoe more uncomfortable. It sounds crazy when you put it like that. You're purposely kind of ruining the product for the worse by adding discomfort. And that's why personally I can't crown these as sneaker of the year because the military blues are supposed to have the exact same shape as pine greens and at the end of the day it's a shoe it's a sneaker you're supposed to wear them walk around in them not just store them in a box and before the pine greens we actually didn't know what we were missing we just kind of accepted the Jordan 4s because of how iconic that silhouette is and it always looked gorgeous but now when we know that the grass is green on the other side I'm just gonna pick the most comfortable version let me know what's your opinion on that do you prefer that Nike just retros these iconic colorways thus sacrificing comfort or are you willing to accept the big changes in order for you to have more comfortable sneakers? Let me know what you think. I wore these for 30 days and the more you wear them the more comfortable they get. Also since they are black you don't have to be careful where you step. Extra plus if you live in Sweden plus the tumbled hated leather turns this sneaker in a tank and you can do whatever the hell you want. But they did hurt my feet a little bit when I decided to take detour on my way home just as an experiment so a lot better than regular Jordan 4s but not quite as comfortable as Pine Greens and that pretty much covers the review I kept talking about the Pine Greens so if you want to see a review on that please click here and if you want to find out if Kanye West is actually a sneakerhead or just a designer click here thank you for watching